All right, Monspy just released Coin Shop Monspy. I grabbed the copy for 10 coins. They were getting him to 80. Um, don't know about Fraudrin. I, you know, Fraudrin just. Uh, he's. Hmm. You know, he's. Yeah. So I, I just. I'm just, get, I'm just getting Monspy. I don't even have coins for Fraudrin. Um, so I can't even get him right now. I could if I bought the um, $100 pack, but I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm doing fine without him, so uh, yeah, just uh, testing Monspy. He is a very fine unit. Uh, his cards are very interesting. The first card, let me go here, is the same one as Green. Is this one? Yeah, the same one as Green Jericho, where he does uh, triple damage if the enemy has a debuff. His multipliers are decently low, but you know, triple damage compensates. And then the other card, uh, 220, which is just normal single target. And the, sec the, the level two is. He breaks a card and takes off one of the ult cages as well. And then level 3, 260, breaks two cards, takes off two ult cages. I've already seen a test for this in PvE. In PvE, uh, breaking cards doesn't really help because um, the uh, the enemy, you're, he has like a predestined card that he's going to use right on PvE. You see on top of his of his uh, face uh, the cards that he's going to use. When Monspeed breaks the cards, he breaks from the deck and not the cards in the hand, if that makes any sense. So the cards don't break. The cards that the enemy on PvE would use, they don't break, unfortunately. But it's, they, taking off old cage still works. Um, more of a PvP thing, you know. Uh, if you break the enemy's cards, maybe he loses like a really good like level 3 card or something. But it's also the barge sword. He could lose like a card he doesn't want and maybe get another one that he does want. So gotta keep that in mind. His passive is that if he attacks an enemy that has ignite, he does 100% uh, more damage. So we're gonna work on, uh, on seeing how that will work. Alright, let me take him on PvP. Now, you might have seen that I'm not bringing Ignite unit, which makes no sense because it's passive, but hear me out. I have an Ignite unit in the fourth slot. Now, I really needed Gopher for exactly this. If Gopher can give me another rank up next turn, this would this will be perfect, and this will be the run, because I'm going to have to try this a few times, but... I took off Gopher's gear, so he has like nothing on him, right? And uh, he should die very easily. That's my whole idea, okay? He should die very easily, and King, which is in the back, will come in and give Gopher the... Uh, and and, and uh, give uh, Monspeed the Ignite that he needs. So let me do this. I have Monspeed level 3 and the buff level 3. Now I just need King, and that will be it. Just kill Gopher, please. That's all I need. Ooh, I can get another Monspeed level 3. I, I'm, I'm very good right now. If, oh, please. <laughs> Gopher has no gear, man. <laughs> Come on. No, this is gonna derank my cards. Uh, why, why is this happening? Why, why are they attacking Mount Speed? Is it because type disadvantage? You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna take off his ult cage. Which one is it? Is this one? No. You know what? We're just gonna take off his ult cage. I don't want him to kill Mount Speed. He's gonna kill Mount Speed. I... They're not attacking Gopher. I look so cool! They're not attacking Gopher just because they hate me. And like I said, I broke his card, but it doesn't really matter on PvE because he only breaks the card. You know. Can you attack Gopher? I'm, I'm gonna retry this. Okay, I have to go for desperate measures. I, I'm using a book stage because um, the only type advantage stage for green units is the uh, the Slater one, and that one's not fun, I tell you. Alright, so I need this card to be level 3. Uh, but in the meantime, I did bring here he, uh, the uh, the King does Ignite. Let me see just level 1 with Ignite, see how much damage he does. Okay, King, you, can, you cannot do that. 84k, level 1. With the Ignite, right? That's actually really good. Um... It was level one. Ooh, I can level two boost. Okay, okay. Let me let me save this for the dragon. Um, but let me see without the uh, the uh, ignite, of course. Now, and uh, I'll just move this. Let me see without the ignite. Yeah, eighty. A hundred percent really is a hundred percent. He really does a hundred percent more damage. Um, uh, but uh, the only man, the, the issue of needing a unit that ignites is just so bad, though. It's just, you, you need someone to ignite for him. Um, because, like, he, yeah, his ultimate does ignite. But, it's just gonna take so much 
to just get an ultimate. Uh, let me just not. And then... I'll just do this. See if I can get uh, uh, another level 1 of Easton. Just so I can um, I can get a level 3 boost. But he does do some good damage numbers. It's just... Uh, without unit igniting for him. He's just not... Yeah, he's just not going to be consistent, right? But this is going to be like one of his best damage possible. Um, of course, his card, like I said, is triple damage. So with the Ignite, I I would want to test with and without the Ignite. But uh, I need like some other debuff instead, right? 200k with a level 2 boost. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting for a little more. I do want to see though, with uh, without the ignite, how much is gonna hit for that specific attack card. All right, I want to see now if uh, instead of using the um, ignite, attack seal. Because if you don't have an ignite here in your team, how well uh, will Mon Speed do? You know. So uh, let me see now with the uh, the attack seal instead. He's still gonna do triple damage. Okay, hit for harder. I did have a level 3 with Easton this time, but why did he hit for harder? Is his passive just not what we think it is? Because he hit for less when the enemy was ignited. Increases damage dealt by 100% if attacking enemies has the ignite debuff. I did ignite. Wait, let me, let me try this again. Alright. Test again, now if I level 3 boost. Don't kill. <laughs> Kane doesn't have gear and he's level 60. But he almost kills. This 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 time I have to do like 200k, right? Like come on. This time I have to do more damage than without. Okay. Now I did 200 k But let me go back to the dragon, because this is the wrong stage. <laughs> Okay, the game refuses to give me a buff and she's gonna die next turn, so I need to I need to test this. Um okay, actually first is one more ignite. Just to break up as much damage as possible. This monster is pissing me is pissing me off, dude. He's just pissing me off. He <laughs> hit for less again! There were five ignites! <laughs> and he hit for less again. Hmm. Okay, time to do some math. Uh, this mon speed is very um, unfortunate. So, when we saw the initial, um, you know, initial info for him, I thought that he was going to be really good because of the combination of weakness, or weak point, I guess, in this card, and the um, and the whole, like, passive, right? Extra 100% damage on top of the, uh, the damage already do if you have an ignite in the enemy. Now, after doing some testing, you know, I, we realize something. So, I'm gonna show something right here, and this my, um, you know, show that this mon speed is very underwhelming. So, you do, let me do a level one card. This is 110%, right? So, he's gonna do 14.5k damage. Now, watch the damage when you have the ignite. So, keep in mind, weak point triples the damage. So he should be doing 45k damage. Um, with the level 1, right? I just did uh, 14k, so he should be doing around 45k, right? Uh, with just a regular debuff. Now, with the 100%, you would imagine that he would hit for 90k. But here's how much he hit for. 55k. 10k more than, you know, if he didn't have the passive. Which means that instead of actually doubling the damage, they just add the initial damage on top of the damage um, that you did. So, <laughs> math, I know, very, very annoying and complicated, but essentially, it doesn't actually double his damage. He gets the 110% uh, 100, multiplier, right, and triples with the card, but instead of doing 110% uh, multiplier times 3, times 2, so he actually, he actually doubles the damage, no, they get 110% uh, times 3, Plus 110 again. So Monspeed <sighs> Shafted again. <laughs> they had to do something to shaft him. I swear to god. Um 
yeah, this his weak point. You know, weak, weak point is a great card, right? He's gonna hit pretty hard right here. Yeah, weak point is a great card. Like if if we compare the level three without and with the weak point, it it does do like a lot of damage. But it's just that how his passive was made, they kind of shafted him. Um, the doing doing 100% more damage, you'd see, you'd think it's going to be really good, right? But the one big issue is that he doesn't actually apply ignites. He only applies them as an ultimate. So, I, yeah, the the difference between um, uh, 32k, right, and then the um, that's like 150k he did. That one's a big one. That one's a big one. Actually, 140k. And again, it's like, if he didn't have the passive, he would do 90k, but instead he just added another 30 and just got pretty close there. Maybe some extra crits right here and there, right? They did more damage. So, Monspeed got thrown into, into Shaft Realm again. The only thing that he has going for him is breaking the enemy cards, which, like I said, in PvE, not very... Oh, the, the animation is so cool. It's so cool. Like I said, in PvE... Uh, doesn't really work. The taking off ult gauge does work, right? But uh, so many units already do that. He doesn't take off in level 1. He doesn't level to take off 1. Um, so it's more of a PvP thing. And at the same time, like I said, you could break the an enemy card that he wouldn't want and then give something that he does want. So, Monspeed, very... I don't know. We'll see. If someone comes up with a really good team for him, uh, I'll try it out on PvP. But it doesn't seem like he's that, you know that good he uh if i would like just by using him for uh, like i think the past more than 30 minutes now um i can you know tell he's not as good as i wish he was and i thought he would be um that's it i, I would recommend not buying mount speed and fraudron and just waiting for the discount if you just want to have all the coin shop units 10 coins for this unit just you know doesn't seem too um, too big. I, I really wish Mons Monspeed was better. Monspeed is like my second favorite commandment, so it's just unfortunate. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.